The mission statement of the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences is creating knowledge and a better world and this applies to all levels of research and teaching throughout the faculty from faculty research, having international conferences, creating international links. Faculty members will teach not only academic content um, but also giving them transferable skills which are relevant not only to their particular discipline but for graduate life in general. At least six or seven faculty in the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences have won awards for excellence in teaching and I think that's reflective of uh, an exciting innovative approach in the classroom. I mean being taught here I think is quite interesting, it's quite exciting, uh, the kinds of assignments, the kinds of projects that students are uh, given to do are innovative and they're challenging and we hear this back from students, they talk a great deal about how it's far more interesting to get a project to do on a topic or a theme that you're interested in rather than doing the usual end of term exam so we put a lot of effort into being innovative in uh, how we assess our students and how we engage with them. If you're starting out in your college career, the key question perhaps is what do you want to do? What kind of a degree do you want to do? And you might think, well, maybe I'd like a traditional arts degree. Or perhaps you'd like a more avant-garde degree, like a degree in journalism or new media. Or perhaps you might like a degree in social science, for example in psychology and sociology. Or perhaps a more specialist degree in applied languages or law plus. Any of these options are available to you in the University of Limerick and a lot more besides. Coming to UL has been completely different from secondary school. I came down on my own but it's been an absolutely brilliant experience. I've made lots and lots of new friends and there's a really great social scene down here. It's absolutely brilliant here, you know, it's, you've got, you have great crack and you know, it's a good education as well. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time here at UL, it's such a growing university and the fact that there's, there's the on-campus accommodation, the clubs and societies, it's, it's really, it's like a second home. I think it's really important to have a I found that all the staff have been very helpful, very excited to help people, um, to make sure people like me studying abroad get the full experience. You might be interested in doing a work placement abroad, or perhaps going to study in a university abroad, say in Europe or America or Canada or Australia. Well, if you come to the University of Limerick, this opportunity will be available to you. Our students all take part in a cooperative education placement and uh, the vast majority of them also take place in a study abroad placement which is where they go and spend some time in a university abroad. One of the things that we firmly believe in here at the University of Limerick is a holistic education for our students and their period abroad certainly gives them the opportunity to experience new things, to speak other languages, um, to work with other cultures, to study in another culture. And these are the things which are really, really important in terms of students' maturity um, and preparing students for life when they come back to Ireland and when they graduate. ISCS is the Institute for the Study of Knowledge and Society and it was set up in 2006. We set up ISCS because we wanted to encourage interdisciplinary research, so we wanted to bring researchers from different disciplines together and provide them with a framework within which they could um, share their research and apply for funding um, for interdisciplinary research. Also we wanted to encourage collaborative research. Um, traditionally humanities, and arts and social sciences researchers have worked on their own and on their own individual research. However, um, the current funding climate, both nationally and in terms of EU funding, um, tries to encourage collaborative research, so teams of researchers rather than individual researchers. From undergrad to postgrad, I've thoroughly enjoyed my experience in the University of Limerick. Many of our students do publish. Within the faculty, we um, at the moment have two uh, journals that are edited by students and they are specifically for student publication, both the Department of History and the Department of Sociology uh, both now edit and run their own student journals uh, and uh, the conventions of editing and peer review that these journals maintain are identical to those that a professional journal would maintain and they are themselves an important training exercise. 
It might sound corny, but a degree from the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences in UL isn't just that. You get a degree, but you also get an apprenticeship for life, right from life skills that you start learning in first year, how to write, how to read, how to present a paper, how to engage with other students in group work, right up to your co-op placement where you'll go out um, to the real world and get skills in a business, in an office, right all the way up to postgraduate students where when you graduate with a PhD you'll not only have a parchment and a body of world-class research but you'll also have uh, produce papers in international journals, have presented at in international conferences and have engaged with the wider international community on that particular topic that's the subject of your research. The Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences is not an ivory tower. It's a dynamic, energetic place that will enable you to achieve your potential. It is a place where faculty and students are committed to creating knowledge and a better world. Thank you.